What's going on guys? Let's see how to do the Laplace transform of 1 over square root of t. Laplace transform of 1 over square root of t. Laplace transform of 1 over square root of t can be written as t going from 0 to infinity and e power negative st. Whatever the Laplace transform we, we are doing, that's going to be the f of t. Here our f of t is 1 over square root of t. So I put that one right here, 1 over square root of t dt. Okay, to do this, I'm going to do the u substitution. Here I have a target to eliminate uh, t completely. So if I take st as u, st as u, then t can be written as u over s. So instead of this st, if we replace this t with u over s, s is cancels, we will get e power negative u. So let's go ahead and write this one right here. t go from 0 to infinity, e power negative u, and 1 over square root of t. Square root of t means square root of u, square root of s square root of u over square root of s square root of u over square root of s so the square root of s go to the top but okay let's write the square root of s right here and dt dt is we have to take the derivative of this t here the derivation is only u s is a constant so 1 over s du I bring the 1 over s to the front instead of dt I replace that one is 1 over s du 1 over s go to the front du remains here here square root of s also a constant we can move that one to the front because we are only integrating respect to u now I'm going to do another thing we can still simplify this one from u to another term uh, let's say w w is equal to square root of u and uh, if w is equal to square root of u then u is going to be equivalent to w square then dw is going to be equivalent to 1 over 2 square root of u du then uh, if we use the Gaussian there's a famous uh, integral called Gaussian integral Gaussian integral that is uh, 0 to infinity e, e power negative w square dw and uh, in Gaussian integral it will turn into 1 over 2 square root of phi okay uh, that's what this is going to become this one will become 2 over square root of s 1 over 2 square root of phi okay that what uh, this becomes then uh, yeah if this is this then uh, finally we will get uh, two two cancels this one is s not two square root of s and then uh, this will become square root of phi two two cancels square root of phi over square root of s this is the that is the final answer that's the Laplace, Laplace transform of 1 over square root of t. That's how we do that. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.